Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can utilize audience targeting feature on a highlighted content web part in SharePoint Online. Uh, let me explain to you kind of the scenario first. So here's the situation. Let's say I have a site, um, you know, called policies, you know, company policies. And on that side, I have a document library. And a document library is called company policies. Let me navigate there. All right. So it has some company policies, you know, some other metadata. That's not really a requirement. Uh, but uh, here's what I want to do. On that home page, I want to target certain documents and surface up certain documents from that library only to select few people. So for example, let's say if uh, somebody is a, you know, team member of sales team, they will get to see maybe three or four policies uh, that apply to sales. And then if somebody logs in from a marketing department, then um, somebody will, you know, see a totally, you know, different selection of policies that only apply to uh, marketing department. All right. So this way it's kind of personalized experience. Uh, for that, we're going to utilize um, highlighted content web part. All right. To, to present, to, to roll up the information uh, on a page. Uh, but most importantly, we're also going to utilize uh, a feature called audience targeting. And that's essentially a feature that allows us to specify the audience for the content. There are three steps involved. All right, there are three, three steps involved in terms of the setup. First, we need to enable audience targeting on, uh, on the document library. So we need to enable, let's find our uh, document library. So first we will need to enable um, audience targeting on this library. That will be the first step. The second step we will need to specify the audience for each and every document. And step number three, final step, we will be configuring our highlighted content web part uh, to to uh, surface up the information. So let me carry you through the uh, through all of the three steps. Again, step number one, we need to enable audience targeting feature on the library on the document library. It's not enabled by default. So for that, we need to navigate to the library right here. Gear icon, library settings, audience targeting setting, and we need to enable that second checkbox. All right, enable audience targeting. This is the modern audience targeting. Do not uh, do not have, you know, check this box. All right. And click. Okay. Perfect. So step number one is done. Now what happened, what happened when, uh, when we enabled, um, audience targeting feature, the library got an extra column called audience. So now we are ready to do step number two, where we're ready to specify the audience for our files. And let me do this. Um, I mean, we can obviously write specify just like any other metadata. All right, so here we go. Let's uh, specify uh, the name of the group. Here we go. Uh, I, I just have some users in this group, so I'm going to specify. Uh, so that's why I'm adding this particular one. So here is my cell members security group. Uh, and just to make it quicker, let me just do this. I'm going to go into quick edit mode. And let's just say this three documents will be sales members. And then for this one, let's specify uh, you know, marketing team members. Again, another security group I have. All right, perfect. So, and, I, and again, uh, for the rest of the documents, it's going to be all this. Here we go. Perfect. So, uh, nice and easy. So, step number two is completed. So, I just pretty much said, you know, all the sales members should see these three documents on the page, and uh, all the marketing team members should see, I guess, the other five. All right. So, now we navigate to the home page. Here it is. And now we are ready to do the third and final step. We're going to utilize highlighted content web part to present the information. Uh, so I'm going to edit the page. I'm going to add the web part right here. Here we go. And by default, I guess it already presents me with some information. We need to configure it. So a little, you know, small pencil icon. So first of all, we this library resides on the site, so I'm just getting information. It obviously could be, you know, anywhere, right? In my particular case, I have a library on my site. That's why this is the one I choose. Um, obviously, we need to specify which library. Here's a list of libraries I have. In my case, it's policies. Here we go. And look at this, right? Uh, I have a total of eight policies, so all of them are shown to me on the screen over here. Same eight policies uh, that we, we have in the uh, document library. Perfect. And then we scroll uh, down. The only other setting 
I mean, of course, you can change the layout and all that, but uh, let's not worry about it. Uh, but very important, what we need to do here is enable audience targeting. Enable audience targeting. Perfect. All right, and then hit publish. All right, let's see. Now, I get to see all eight. Uh, you know why? Because obviously I'm the admin and I'm part of all this group, so it doesn't really work for me. All right, uh, but uh, um, let me show you. Um, I have Mary logged in here. Let me show you if I refresh the screen. Look at this. You see, I'm logged in as Mary. All right, and Mary is part of the sales, you know, sales team uh, security group. So she only gets to see three documents. You see, on the page, not uh, not uh, you know all eight documents, just the three because we targeted specifically, uh, you know, to Mary. All right. Um, so that's all there is to it. Now, one very important thing I also wanted to mention is this. So when you tag your documents, let me go back, let me to that library. Remember when you assign the audience, um, you know, fill in the audience uh, metadata here. Uh, let me uh, just do this. Make sure to fill in the blanks, you know, for all the files. Why? Let me show you what happens if you don't do that. All right, let me just quickly do that. So let's say I want this three documents to sh you know to, to be shown to sales and the other five I just didn't you know I just didn't tag them all right uh, let me refresh my screen now all right let me refresh my screen let's go back to Mary's uh, you know uh, page right here right uh, Mary is logged in I'm going to refresh look at this all of a sudden uh, Mary sees all eight documents uh, how come because remember I only Mary is uh, is just um, uh, in the in the sales you know uh, team uh, security group all right she's not in marketing but remember you know audience targeting is not really a security kind of you know feature right Mary had by uh, by default has access to this site and has access to this library all right um, the you know whatever I specify here uh, only works in terms of displaying information it's not like we're applying security setting on a file so it will be hidden all right hopefully that makes sense so because mary right if mary just navigates to the library right i'm, I'm logged in as mary here she can just you know navigate to site contents and uh, you know navigate uh, to that library and she, she will see the same library again you know the the audience is not a security it's it's not like a security and permissions on the file it's only for display of information we use it for display of information and just because we leave it blank you know, doesn't mean that, uh, right, yes, Mary is part of sales, but, you know, if we didn't target it to anyone, then it will be seen by everyone who can see this library. So the reason I explained this to you is make sure, make sure when you, you know, tag your documents, when you assign an audience, make sure to fill it in completely, all right? Because again, if you don't, if you don't, you know, specify any values here, it's almost going, you know, it's almost like you, 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 you know, it's not worth doing it, right? Uh, you're not going to get any, uh, you know, audience uh, targeting at all, all right? The user will see everything. So make sure to fill it in completely for each and every file, and only in that case, audience targeting will uh, work uh, appropriately, all right? Uh, so that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully, you learned a new trick. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.